Hello friends, we are here today in Revelation chapter 21. So I don't know why I don't read this chapter every day. It is the most glorious book in the Bible. It may be the most glorious thing of all time. So what's happening is all of the judgments have been done. With the new heaven, God has made a new heaven and a new earth. And the new Jerusalem is coming down from heaven. It says it's like a bride. Now, I don't know if you're married, but when I got married, I, I have this problem. I know a lot of other people do. You know, whenever I'm at a funeral, I, I just have a hard time living in the moment. Like some people can just feel an emotion and they can start crying. And some people can feel an emotion and start laughing. I'm one of those people who, I have strong emotions, but they're so disconnected from my feelings and my thoughts that that in the moment, I have a hard time connecting with that. <laughs> However, when I was standing at the front of, of the, the church, it was a, a room, I got married in a barn, you know, and everybody stands up and the music starts playing and my wife starts walking down the aisle, I started crying like crazy and I was trying my very hardest to think this is not happening right now now don't start crying <laughs> but you see it's coming down like a bride and it has to be just as glorious as I felt that day on my on my wedding day it comes down and you know the it, this verse or this passage says something that's kind of mysterious it says the old earth had passed away and then it says, and the sea is no more. Now, some of you might be thinking, I like the sea. You know, <laughs> why would the sea be no more? This doesn't sound like a fun ending. Well, let me explain this. There was a part in the beginning of this book where it mentions that in between him and where he could see that God was, there was a sea and it was like of glass. And then later on, it mentions the same thing. You know, it says there's this sea between, between him and, and God. And so throughout this whole vision, there has been this distance between him, John, the writer of the book, and, and the vision that he's seeing and all the things that are happening in heaven. There's this sea. Now there's, there's believers that are on the other side of the sea, but they are the ones who have already died. The sea is to represent the distance between him and God. You know, it enabled it for you to be with God now. You have to die. <laughs> because there's this sea between the two. And he's saying the sea is no more. You know, the, the death is gone. You don't need to die to be with God anymore. The sea is dried up. So I don't believe this is talking about like the oceans, you know, the, the oceans will not be dried up. But the distance between you and God will be dried up. And so you are there with God and that's the next thing that happens here it says that God communicated and he said he said I am now going to dwell with humans I'm going to dwell with my people and they will live with me and I will wipe away every tear and there's going to be no more sickness and no more sorrow and no more pain death is gone because that's part of the old order the new order has come and it's just going to be great. <laughs> oh, what a great chapter. Now, one of the one of the angels, one of the angels with the with the bowls of judgment came over to John and he said, "Let's go measure." <laughs> I don't know why they keep measuring things in this vision. But he comes over with a big golden yardstick and he says, "Let's measure it." So he measures Jerusalem, he measures the, 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 the new heaven, essentially. And he's showing what, what it is. Now the dimensions, it says that it's 12,000 stadia. Now if you convert that today, it's about 1,385 miles, which is exactly the distance 
from Detroit to Miami. So picture, <laughs> picture Detroit to Miami, only it's a square. You know, you go over that far and then you go up that far. That's the new Jerusalem. And it says that it has temple walls, temple walls that are 144 cubits. That's about 200 and, what would it be? I guess one, one cubit is about 18 inches. So 144, it's 200 and over 250. Somebody can do the math. I would guess, you know, you see this crane over here? There's a crane. That crane, maybe about half the size of the wall <laughs> that we're talking about here. So, pretty big wall. Now, in this city, it says that there is no temple. You know, the, the, the meeting place of God. You know, the whole city is the meeting place of God. There no, there's no need for a temple because you can, you can see him there. And there's no, there's no sun or moon. There's, it's not necessary because God is the light. And it says, I like this, it says that the lamb is the lamp. You know, there's the big light and there's the smaller light. It stays on all day and there is no night. Now, it's important to note that in this chapter, it says, now this is the inheritance of those who conquer. You know, this chapter talks a lot about those who conquer and what it means to conquer. The ones who stay with God, the ones who believe in him, the ones that love God, and the ones who this is not their inheritance are the ones that go to the lake of fire. And it says these are the people that are the liars, the, the sexually immoral, the you know, the, the people that don't live for God, but the people that live, that live for themselves, the people that live for pleasure. But this is such a wonderful ending. I feel like we should have more songs written about this. I, I actually keep on thinking when I come to this chapter about songs that hint at heaven and they make me cry every single time. So we are almost to the end of the we are almost to the end of this year. We are almost to the end of this book. But this is such a glorious ending. Anyways, that is Revelation chapter 21. Have a great day. Bye.